Hey friends, welcome to Bob's Tips and Tricks. Just some uh, things that will make it a little bit easier out in the woods for you. The first one is, and this works with all saws, but the bow saw is really freaking bad about it. As you ever notice when you're cutting through a big log such as this one, you get about halfway through and your uh, blade starts to bind up on you. Well, that's due to a lot of friction and it's heating up and causing the sawdust to pump around your blade. So what I do, and I got this idea from my chainsaw because I've been having this problem quite a bit lately. So I'll take a little bit of WD-40 and I simply spray that on before I cut the wood. And then, of course, when I'm about halfway through, I go ahead and recoat the blade. Just makes it a little bit slicker and easier the saw blade to go through the wood like so. There you have it. A very nice clean cut and it prolongs the life of your blade. So what we just made is one heck of a taunting stick. <laughs> We're going to use this on the machete. Okay, let's talk about the wood. Uh, normally people cut, which I don't have any around here, it would appear, uh, pieces of wood about that side, around, about that size, and they kind of baton it. What we're going to do is we're going to be cutting these logs. Um, they're much bigger, and they're two different types of wood. This one here is a hard wood, and you can tell by the grain and how tight it is. This little guy here is the one we cut down from the tree, and it's pretty much starting to rot out. And in the grain, it's more of a soft wood. So we're going to use this to get our fire started. Another thing that's kind of important, size. <laughs> anyway. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. He getting a little loopy today. Must be the heat. <laughs> anyway, back to size. We're going to cut it a lot smaller, okay? Normally, if you uh, cut something for your 
stove or your fireplace. This could be a lot bigger uh, in size, and this one's going to be a lot shorter in size. So another thing that really helps is I've beat down a nice, and I mean a nice little uh, divot here in the ground, so it's been compacted and it's a lot easier to do. Uh, remember, please be safe with your machete, knife, or whatever you're going to use. So instead of going to the middle, like a lot of people are going to want to do, just by instinct, and the problem with that is sometimes it works. Sometimes your uh, knife or machete or whatever gets stuck in the middle and it's a pain in the butt to get out. We're going to take it from the sides. Now I learned this method from using a uh, throw, making shakes. So we're going to bang this down to the sides here. And we're going to go around and basically quarter this guy out. Man, this <laughs> one heck of a stick. <laughs> Uh, simply quarter the little guy out like that until you get closer and closer to the middle. And see how the middle is getting to be uh, square like that? I'm going to take this one more on the side right here. And we're going to split that guy right there. if we can get him out of the way. <laughs> Alright, so we did this one. And I'll split these a little bit later and put them on a the fire. So we're going to move over to this guy here. This is much of a harder wood. And you can see how tight that is. <sighs> I'm going to pound that guy into the ground. There we go. Yeah. Get some stuff out of the way because pieces are going to go flying. Oh, this is some really good wood here, guys. This would make some great freaking shakes. And we're going to come up here to the top here. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm going to go find out what tree this came from and we're going to use it for a future project. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Look how nicely that cuts. Man, that. Woo. This would make some excellent shakes. Well, carving wood. What is that? Uh, I'm not sure. But it's definitely a good hard wood. Okay. There has been some of Bob's tips and tricks to make life in the woods a lot easier. Uh, if you've got any you'd like to add, please feel free to put it down in the comic se the comic comment section because I know I'll enjoy reading them. And so will everybody else. I think it's going to rain. Like always, friends, thanks for watching. <laughs>